There are quite a few teachers at Saline High School, but did you know there is a teacher that actually qualified for the Olympics? His name is Zachary Ornelas, and as a runner, he faces some unique challenges. A lot of the competitors I, I have on the line, they either run full time, that's their job, they have a sponsorship, they wake up, they run, they watch Netflix all day, and then they run again. I'm probably a little bit more unique on the line where I'm thinking about, okay, this week I managed putting my kids to bed every night, teaching full classes, grading essays. I remember I took a stack of essays to my first Olympic trials because on the flight home, I, I had to grade 30 of them before class the next day. Um, so it, it is a lot to balance and I try to keep myself as grounded as possible, realizing that running is important to me but it is still a hobby. My, my family needs to come first. My, my responsibilities to school need to come before all of that. This hobby has connected him to some of the most important people in his life. I met my wife through running, most of my best friends, uh, every single person that was a uh, groomsman at my wedding was a runner that I'd met at some point in my life. I tried all of the sports when I was a little kid, like many people do. Um, I was bad at most of them. I was okay at soccer. Really, I was okay at soccer because I like to run. Um, and my dad was doing 5K road races pretty often to stay in shape. He was in the military. And he was decently fast. And then over the years, I started to find myself catching up to him and then being a little bit ahead of him and then, and then beating him. Um, so it was kind of just finding the thing that I was actually decent at and that I liked doing and having my dad as a, a role model for that. Reporting for Hornet Nation, I'm Peyton Whitaker, back to you in the studio.